All right, it's rainy season, so of course the windshield's leaking. So I took off the uh, the trim to see if I could seal it up any better. And it's pretty gross in there. This side was the issues where the leaking happens into the floorboard. Carpets do need to be replaced. But somewhere in here, it's leaking into the uh, compartment. So I'm going to clean that out as best I can and try to reseal it. Try to find the leak. Okay, so I'm trying to replicate the the issue whenever it rains. It drips down there, right? So I got some water. I pour it down this slot here around the windshield. Most of it goes down to where it's supposed to drain out. And then I get one drop. All right, this is going to be more difficult than I thought. I thought it was going to be pretty easy. I thought it was for sure coming from this area. I did pour some down here earlier so we'll see all right so here I could see well, all right so here are the drops water so at least I could trace it down going up there okay made some progress. I took the car outside, got a, a hose and sprayed down everything. And I was able to reproduce the leak. And it's not coming from here. This is all sealed up pretty good. It's actually coming from the cowl. So it's either the AC vent, it's right here. Now go around to the other side. And uh, right there. And of course it's it's open on top. So the so water could be going in through there. It's leaking around the AC plastic and also from uh, right here where the flap goes you know fresh air car air uh, that's it's all wet in there so what I think's happening is it's coming in through the through the seam but there is also a seam on the uh, where the air goes into the box and I'm betting it is getting in through there okay see where the the base hits the sheet metal I'm guessing around there there's a, a leak that's coming into the cabin so I'm gonna attempt to seam seal it uh, I don't I don't know how to take this off um, it's probably spot welded on there or something but I think I should be able to get my hand around there and goop up all around the base all right, so I got some uh, seam sealer 
and I am kind of putting it down there, kind of getting the back side of the. Uh, of the fresh air intake as best as I can and then I will come to the front and do the same alright so now I'm going to attack it from this angle and get underneath there and try to goop all that up and I am using a chopstick and seam sealer. All right, here's my uh, masterpiece. Hopefully it, <laughs> hopefully it works. So I was watching House of Dula and uh, he was saying he was doing something with his dash and removing all this from his 80s Mustang. And he said that this box came out with uh, like around three bolts. And he was right and this drops out so now I have access to that bad boy right there that's where all the problems are so I'm gonna go ahead and treat that and and uh, put some stop rest on it and uh, go from there because I think that's where my leak is here's the rest stop I use it says rust stop with a wheelbarrow. So if it's good enough for a wheelbarrow, it's good enough for the Mustang. Okay, so it's uh, once overed and I will probably do another one and then start sealing it. And there we go, another uh, masterpiece of sealer it's a wreck but man I just don't want it to leak anymore so I just kind of overdid it dry 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 